In this video, we will be creating this function right here on the TI Inspire CX cost. And so if you're in thermodynamics, you probably know what this equation is for. And so I'm just going to show you guys how to have this equation in your calculator. And so let's get started. So first thing I did was write down the equation. So this part right here is exactly what we saw earlier. That's the equation. Now, an important thing that you may not know is this icon right here, this line straight down. That, that icon comes from control equal, and you get it right here. So you first write the equation, then you go control equal, this icon right here, and then you write the variable. So we have t naught, and what I'm gonna do here is set a dummy number. So I'm gonna say t naught is equal to this number. Next, you go space, space comes from right here. So you do a space, and then you write the word and, a -N -D. Now it's important to know that you spell and correctly. If you write AMD, it's not italicized because it's not a command. But if I write AND, I put a space, it's a command. That's why it's not italicized anymore. That's an important note for writing functions on the TI Inspire. So then you do space T. T is equal to this dummy number. Uh, space and again. You do A, you do B, you do C and you do D. You do all the variables in our equation. You hit enter and this is what you get for these particular numbers. Now I like to write functions in this format because one, it's easy to go back and see the actual equation and two, it's very easy to swap numbers. So I go back, I hit enter, so now I have the equation. So now I can easily change the numbers. So I can, instead of 298, I can make 398. Instead of 773, I can make 873, and I can very easily change numbers. And if I hit enter, we get a new number. And so it is a working uh, function. And that's all you need to do to program this equation into your TI Inspire CX cost. 